Hello and welcome to today's latest property offering, where we find ourselves in the picturesque and popular village of Furbeck. Behind us you've got the Black Lion pub serving gorgeous food and nice cheeky beers. We've even tried the food. Um, you've got the village hall over there, a great focal point of the community. Tick Hill again is a really popular village which has lots of restaurants. You've got Indian, Chinese, Italian and local pubs. The Cricket Club is a great focal point of the community within Tick Hill and offers cricket for girls and boys of all age groups and the men are not bad at the standard that they play at as well. It also has a local primary school. Secondary schooling is well catered for at nearby Maltby and Dinnington. The road networks again are perfectly placed with the A1 and M1 giving links to the region's major towns and cities and you do have both Doncaster and Retford offering mainline train stations giving links to London's King's Cross. Locally, tourist attractions, you do have Yorkshire Wildlife. It's a great day out for all the family. A little bit further, you've got Clumber Park and Sherwood Forest. Okay, so here we are at the stables on the edge of the village of Furbeck. It's a cracking countryside location. Uh, the village itself has got a nice little cheeky boozer and a village hall, which is a great focal point of the community. As you can see, the property is actually on split levels here. So we've got a two or a three bedroomed house with two reception rooms, cracking little private gardens here um, and a nice patio for a gin and tonic. Come have a look. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the internal accommodation. So we've had the steps coming up from the garden into this gorgeous conservatory. You've got electric underfloor heating as well. Um, but I really do think you should utilize this space, whether it be a, a little dining area. As you can see, the current owners have got chairs scattered around, but it could be a, a great dining space, bit of a living area there, especially taking advantage of those summer months that are coming up. Now we're gonna have a look at the internal accommodation. Come with me. Okay, so I'm just going to point out here, we've come through the door from the conservatory, so you can go left to the bedrooms there, or you can come for the purpose of the video, we're going to come into this really nice breakfast kitchen. So you've got dual aspect windows, the window there's into your conservatory, the window there's onto the front, you've got your ovens there, china display, um, the range master as well, lovely feature, and a one and a half bowl sink unit. Um, it's a really great space here, I think, to enjoy those less formal occasions, uh, just to enjoy breakfast or maybe evening meals when you finish work, etc. Or got the kids, um, the TV's even in the corner as well for you. But now we're going to have a look at the dining room and the living room. So you've got two reception rooms this way. Come have a look. Okay, so we've got steps leading down here from your breakfast kitchen to your first reception room. Uh, the current owners have got this all set up nicely, utilising it as a dining room. You've got a lovely window seat there with a window overlooking your rear garden and a window there overlooking the front. So it's dual aspect again. I'm just going to point this little part out here. You've got um, a small pantry area there actually, which is really useful, just off your kitchen. And you've got a uh, toilet as well. And then you've got nice tile flooring here. And again, just the other side, you've got a door into a, uh, a porch area, which is great just for storing logs for those summer months, coats, shoes, etc. And then we're gonna go down the steps to the living room. Come on, let's go and have a look. So you've got a few steps down here, um, and then you're in your living room. Now, this is a great cozy room. It's really got that winter cozy feel. Look at that nice wood burning stove there, and a nice corner sofa here. Windows overlooking your garden. So what a reception space to enjoy with the family. So you've seen the internal reception space. What's left is the bedrooms. So we'll go and have a look at the bedrooms and then we'll show you the nice gardens and the, and the gorgeous countryside this property sits in. Come with me. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a recap. So we've come in there off the conservatory and we've gone right into the kitchen and the reception rooms. Now we're gonna go onto the bedrooms. So I'm just gonna point out here, this is currently used as a second bedroom with a dressing room. But as you can see, it's split level. So it would easily separate off if you needed a third bedroom down there and then your second bedroom up here with a door going into the, um, the corridor there. So like I say, it's currently working really well as a bedroom with a dressing room, but easily separated back to a potential third bedroom. But here you've got um, 
fitted wardrobes there with um, cupboard space above. You've got more drawers and cupboards there. Nice front aspect windows on both rooms potentially. And then you've got freestanding wardrobes all there. So again, if you wanted to just make this a two bedroom and have uh, fitted wardrobes maybe, the potential is there. Or like I say, I think the best option would be to put it back to that three bedroom and you've still got a, a great size room there and one up here with a door going into the corridor. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at the master bedroom. Okay, so you've got a few steps here coming up to the top level area. So I'm just gonna point out a few things here. You've got a great storage cupboard here for your towels, etc. You've got a utility area there where you've got um, your plumbing for washer, dryer, etc. You've got storage space and your oil central heating boiler. You've got your family bathroom there. So you've got a bath with a rain style shower over. You've got lovely tiled walls and flooring, heated towel rail, your wash basin and your toilet. You've even got his and hers wash basin in there. How cool is that? Now we're into the master bedroom. So as you can see, you've got kind of ladies and gentlemen's fitted wardrobe style with cupboards above, loads of storage space along that side there, a nice window seat again, overlooking your garden. You've got more wardrobe space there. And then just an added extra in this one, you've got a gorgeous ensuite as well. So you've got a nice corner shower there, uh, toilets, again, really nice, well-appointed uh, towel floor and walls and a nice heated towel rail just to finish off. So that concludes the accommodation within this property. Now we'll go and have a look outside. Okay, so now we'll just finish off with this gorgeous garden. You've got patio here, you've got stairs uh, leading up to a further patio. You've got nice lawn dairy here. And then look at this for those summer months, just coming out your entrance porch there, barbecue on, even the chimney is there waiting for us. So this is a gorgeous property on the edge of Furbeck. It's a two or a three, depending how it works for you. You've got two uh, reception rooms there. Give Alistair a call 07854 862 101. Thank you.